I'm going to show you something called a dark post. Uh, we held a big training the other day, so this is a piggyback off of that for you guys to understand what a dark post is, and I'm going to show you the best way to do it. So a dark post is something that hasn't been posted on your page first um, before you turn it into an ad. You're literally creating an advertisement within Ads Manager itself, okay? So step one, um, the most important thing to do when you're doing this is if you have, a, if it is a story ad, so you are writing out a story and you are having pictures and of course you would have seen the, the flow chart and we'll attach that or send that in with you guys as well, probably attach it to this training, the flow chart of how to split test properly. So with your story ad, you're gonna split test four different pictures, right? Um, and you're gonna create dark posts for each one of them. So you wanna make sure that you have your story written up and save it to a note um, on your computer, um, whether you got an iMac or, or MacBook or whatever. Write the story out on you know somewhere separate because you're not gonna post it to your page directly first, okay? So you write your story out, and then also make sure that the pictures that you want to use are on your computer. So whatever you got to do, so if you take pictures from your phone, um, download them to your computer um, and just make sure that you can access them somewhere in your computer and you know knowing where that is. Now, if you are shoot, if you are creating a video ad and you're going to create a dark post with that and you're going to split test like the flow chart showed you with a different title, and different copy and switch them around, then you wanna make sure that your video, the raw video that's, well the edited video, the edited version of the video is saved on your computer in your file somewhere, as well as you know your title and your written part, um, whether it's you know in your head written on the book or saved somewhere on your computer. Uh, saved on your computer is easier, so you just copy and paste it over. Okay, so that is the, the step one is making sure that you have everything you need for the post on your computer. I know lots of us make posts from our phone, um, but make sure that you get it on your computer because that's how you're gonna create it and it's through Ads Manager, okay? So I'll show you um, a conversions dark post, okay? So we're gonna go through it, of course, name everything accordingly. I'm just gonna go through this quickly just so you guys can see. Um, you'll go through this, uh, you know, if it's a conversion to a website, obviously put in, um, you know, the necessary steps for that. I just have to do that so I can go past this point. Make sure you set up your audience. I mean, if you're doing uh, the split testing, of course, starting with an open audience first or depending on where you are in your business, um, make sure you watch that training, uh, that two hour training that we shot before to give yourself some, some context on what I mean with that. Of course, set up your targeting. Uh, I'm gonna leave it open. I gotta make sure that it's over at least uh, 21. Um, so, you know, if I'm gonna do open target, 22 to 50. Because uh, my page doesn't allow people 21 or younger to be on it. So, um, I have the, you know, the simple targeting. Okay, very open. Um, you know, you can save it as well if you don't have it saved yet as just your open targeting. Name it properly, right? So you can keep track of it. Oh, 22, 50, Canada, US, open, okay? Uh, and then you can save it if you want. Then you go in and do your placements. Um, of course, we like to do just feeds. Where we find the best results. Um, and then from there, of course, set your budget of whatever it is. I'm putting $5 a day because that's the common way of doing it. Whatever it is for you, go continue. Now, instead of, so this is the same as you would do any conversion, um, except instead of using an existing post right here, you're gonna create it. You're gonna create it within Ads Manager. This is what a dark post is. So it means it's not gonna be put onto your page. It's just gonna be sent from your page into the open marketplace, okay? Um, so of course, make sure you have your page selected. And if it is a story advertisement, where it's the long write-up and you're just using a picture and you're gonna be testing between different pictures, single image, 
okay? If it's a video advertisement, you pick single video. And then from there, you upload everything that you need. So obviously, like I said, I got everything in my computer now. So I'm gonna upload an image. And uh, here's some perfect, open up perfectly. So I'll use this image. And I have a couple that I can test from, but this is just how you're building the first dark post. And from there, I can I can crop it if I want to. Make sure I can see my rock fingers in there. It's all about the rock fingers. It shows you what it looks like here. And of course, I want it to link to a website. Um, and this is giving you the op option to Messenger two or whatever. So. Um, so then from there, here is your text, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my note where I have my story written up already. I'm gonna copy it all. Do, 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 copy. And I'm gonna put it in here, paste. I'm gonna go through it and review it quick to make sure it's good. Yep, 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 looks good. Then I'm gonna put in my, oh. Uh, then I'm gonna put in my conversion to where I wanna send them, okay? So if it's to uh, the website, the domain, I'm gonna put that in there. mvmnt.com, okay? Wait for it to load. I'll just make this bigger so it's easier to see. So that'll take some time to load. And you can put a little headline on here if you want, okay? Um, so it's, instead of just saying, you know, the URL like that, you could go, um, you know, for me, you know, I'm talking in my story. I keep it congruent with my story. So in my story, I'm talking, you know, about... Um, applying now and how I'm going to apprentice them. So whatever, I mean, whatever you're gonna leverage with your story. So I could say, apply now. Right, or actually what I usually do is I go like this, I go, seeking apprentices, okay? And then from there I can even change to see what my button, want. I want my button to look like. So um, there, I'll say apply now, okay? Or if it's going to the domain, right? Um, you know, they're gonna click on that and it's gonna say on the capture page, you know, see how, uh, learn how we've uh, created an internet business or whatever. So, um, so you can say uh, sign up would be a good one. Sign up or learn more would be a good one, okay? If that's where it's going. So just keep that in mind. If it's going to the landing page, then keep in mind that you're saying that sign up to the landing page so it's congruent with everything. Uh, if it's going to your your messenger or something, right, and you want them to reach out to you, you can say apply now. And I'm gonna show you something like that in another training. Now this is the basics of a dark post. So now we got that. Um, from there, that's it. Okay, make sure your pixel is on and then you'll go and you'll go confirm and you'll have a dark post that has been created, okay? Um, once it's created like this, you can look at it from different different stuff, you know, like desktop, see what it looks like from your desktop, whatever you want, okay guys? So that's how you build a dark post. Um, hopefully that was fairly, um, under, like, fairly clear for you guys and other than that, Enjoy this, that's the definition of a dark post and uh, be watching for some more trainings. I'm gonna show you some really cool stuff coming up. Okay guys, peace out, Fraser's out of here, bye bye.